Kaylin Ponyo, Martin Francisca Francisco, Novello Filo Trudes Cardin Eduardin, Ashon Romeo, and All Souls in Purgatory. Mass for the Souls of Crispita, Claudio, Brenda, Monica, Letnuta, Antonio, Esperanza, Melchor, Jose, Rene. Thanksgiving Mass for all the graces and blessings received, for good health and free from COVID-19, for the birthday anniversary of Reverend Father James Jubal Meneses. Mass in honor to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Senior Santa Nino, Mother Perpetual Health, Saints Peter and Paul, Sacred Heart of Jesus, San Marcos, Senior San Roque, Our Lady of Miraculous Medal, and all saints and angels in heaven. Our offers, Lenny, children of the late Feliciano Garces, Geneston family, Adelaida and family, Honorable Joey Cordero, Ida Ricarte and family, Rosario Sasso, Ronda Boncalon and family, Emilda Magallanes and family, Mary Grace and Mark Atuela, Emilda Noivo, Apang George, Mr. and Mrs. Alberto Merelies, Roel Igot and family, the Tugada family, and some anonymous donors. Ay hapon ato sa piyapil sa atong pag-ampu ang atong online mass intentions na gihalad nila Karen Narcado, Herbert Tugunon, Maan Maglasang, Philip Salazar, Annabel Rele, Anisita Pastor Reyes, Angie Dizon, Norman Nudilia, Kath, Jennifer Rodado Monares, Gemma Camorista Costillas, Gemma Giganto Bustillo, Gwen Restore Paradela, Leticia Salazar, Anne Dorog, Joan Monte Peñano, Mimi, Mary V. Saak Delgado, Sal De Valverde Ignacio, James Francis Bibango, Rosalinda Ka Kaoktoy, Bete Manlosa, Ana Maria Alegre, Anton Bors, Jerry Tagalog, Serena Omega Suarez, Angie Dizon, Ramki Galos, Rinsky Rales Hunde, Jessel Paharon, Sha Abelia, Rosalinda Kaoktoy, Mary P. Isaac Delgado, Rinsky Hunde, Gladys Raisa Kimbolayson, Pabilin Palacio Mentrosa Kapanas, Umayang Gats, Pug Francisca Kataag Anakta. Dagang salamat. Oratio Imperata on the threat from COVID-19. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people 
task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Saint Rock, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Calunso, Saints Peter and Paul, all the angels and saints in heaven, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to our celebration of the third Sunday of Easter. We include in our Mass intentions also our intentions coming from the viewers from the internet and our listeners from our radio station BYAJ Power FM to prepare ourselves worthy of the sacred mysteries let us acknowledge our sins I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Sure. 
people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed, all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are Israelites, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David, that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God has sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he received the promise of the Holy Spirit from the Father and poured him forth as you see and hear. The Word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of Saint Peter. Beloved, if you invoke as Father him who judges impartially according to each one's words, conduct yourselves with reverence during the time of your sojourning, realizing that you were ransomed from your feudal conduct, handed on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a spotless, unblemished land. He was known before the foundation of the world, but revealed in the final time for you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, 
Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? My dear brothers and sisters, Kumusta ang atong tagsa-tagsa ng mga kasing-kasing? Are they still burning with the faith in the resurrected Lord? Are our hearts burning while our eyes are glued on our TV sets or computers as we watch and participate in the live streaming celebration of the Mass? 
we still experience warmth of our hearts when we come together or you come together as a family and pray before your altars. Are your hearts still burning? Now that you are staying together with your family for quite a long time. Unsa ka init ang atong pagtuo hasta karun. Unsa ka init ang atong kasing kasing. The liturgy of the Easter Vigil starts with the blessing of fire. Ang pagbindita sa bago ng kalayo. Unsa maning bagong kalayo? Ang bagong kalayo, mao kini ang bagong kinabuhi. Na mao si Jesus Cristo, naghatag ka nato og bagong tsansa, bagong kahigayunan nga mabuhi gikan sa kamatayon sa atong sala pinagi usab sa kamatayon sa atong Ginoo fire represents life and this new fire being blessed reminds us of the new life given to us shared to us by the resurrected lord that through this fire we participate now in the very life of Jesus also. Fire reminds us of the warmth of life. Fire reminds us of the beauty of being alive. I still recall when I was a new priest I was assigned in Palo with Monsignor Pastor Cochianco as my first parish priest. And he was also my parish priest here in Ormoc before I became a priest. Nagiyon to si Monsignor nga, daghang kuno kanuna yung mga tao, mangutana sa pari, labi na kong muato sa baryo, magmisa, o bisita sa mga balay, Kung doon ay mga okasyon, magutanag yun pirmi. Father, Monsignor, kung sa may ginaganahan ninyong pagkaon, kung sa may lamig ninyong naandamon na mo, no? kayo mag-andam me. Kasagaran, kayo mingon naman sila nga, andama ko no, ang atay sa pari, ang itlog sa pari. Pero kung sa mong yun ang inyong ganahan, Monsignor, ingon si Monsignor, kami mga pari, di man mikutihan o pagkaon. Para namo lamik man ang tanan pero mas tindog yun kong ang pagkaon ng inyong andamon init-init. Ayan, no? Kaya ang pagkaon ko nga init-init lamik kaayo kaysa namugnaw na ng pagkaon. O diba, no? Sahira kayo ng init nga sabaw sa tinuwa o namugnaw nga sabaw sa tinuwa. So that's the secret. Pagpakaon sa pari, init-init lang o ganahan na ang pari mukaon. The same thing I believe also in our normal life. No? We want always warmth. No? Warmth in our relationship. No? Warmth in dealing with others. No? Kainit diya sa atong pagtratar, sa atong isig katao. Kainit diya sa atong interest sa usa kabutang. No? It would be so bad and so sad. For example, when a husband would tell to his wife, Dai, namugnaw naman ang akong feelings ni mo. Patay, delikado na na siya. No? Kung mamugnaw na. No? Kinahanglan, initon, jud na siya. No? Or for example, istudyante ka, no? Unya, 
tapulan ka kanunay pagtuon, tapulan ka kanunay sa pagkananaang suod sa eskrilahan, and you will tell your classmate, namugnaw naman ang akong gana sa pag-eskwila. No? And then your classmate would ask you, what's bothering you? No? What's your problem? No? Kanong namugnaw naman ka diha sa imong kinabuhi? And what's worse, tingali nga kabugnaw mga kaigsunan, mao ang kabugnaw sa atong pagtuo. When we lose that warmth of our faith, mawat ang nakagana sa pagsimba, mawat ang nakagana sa pagbasa sa Biblia, mawat ang nakagana sa pagampu, mawat ang nakagana bisan lang gani, sa pagtanaw ang kampanaryo sa simbahan. Namugnaw ng pagtuo. Huwag mo na yung mga kiksunan ng sirkumstansya diya sa atong gibasa karon ng Ebanghelyo din duha ka mga apostoles o tinunan sa atong ginoo kadisipulo naglakaw pagawas sa Jerusalem. Huwag subo kayo ang ilang dagway tungod sa ilang giagian nga kanana eksperensya na binasay tabo sa ilang magtutunlo sa Yeso Kristo. Mao nga tingali sa kabugnaw sa ilang kinabuhi sa kawalay gana sa pag-abot ni Kristo ug dungan kanila sa pagbaktas, they fail to recognize him. Wa sila makaila. Ug tingali mao sab ni ang kasagaran nga may tabo sa atong kinabuhi kung mamugnaw ang atong pagtuo kung mamugnaw ang atong gana sa pagpuyo nining kalibutan we lose also our focus in Jesus di na tamakailan niya bisag duol siya we could not recognize him nga naman maybe we are just so focused sa kabugaton sa atong problema So, kining usahay ang problema, moding ang mag-ilog sa atong atensyon, gikan sa atong ginuo, gikan sa atong pagtuo. Going to the extent of even losing our faith. Ganuman, kaya muabot man ang panahon nga, tuwod sa kadabo sa problema, magmahay ka, o mawanan ka sa pagtuo. Una nga diha mismo, ang atong ginuo, hinay-hinay, nga nag-istorya kanila mahitungod sa balaan na kasulatan o mahitungod usap diha sa giingon ining balaan kasulatan mahitungod kang Kristo tinuod na kung ilang kasubo nakabati ang ginoo nga nawa ang ilang danggo nawa ang ilang gana tungod kay para kanila si Kristo maugyon ang magtubos kanila na mga hudeyo Si Kristo mo ay ilang paglaong apat nawala siya sa ilang kinabuhi. Sanglit niya sa pagbalik ni Kristo sa balaan ng kasulatan hinahinay usap na may balik ang kainit sa ilang kasing-kasing. Ug nasabtan nila na klaro nila unsa ang gisulat sa balaan ng kasulatan may tuwod sa umaabot ng manunubos. O sa dihang nangaon na unta sila, ang kining estranghero na may uban ka nila, nakita na lamang nila na bibikas sa pan, nagpasalamat, o diha-diha, sila nakaila, hala, pamilyar man siya na buhat. Hala, pamilyar man siya na aksyon. No? Pamilyar man na tao. And they recognize Jesus. Udia diha na wala dayon ang atong ginoo. Ug nagingna nay sila, we're not our hearts burning, no? When they tried to review to us, to tell us once again no? the scriptures. Mga kaigsuon ato kang Hesus Kristo. Mausap kini ang atong maeksperensyahan kung diha sa atong kinabuhi ato kanunay mailhan si Kristo 
diha sa iyang pagkabuhi diha sa iyang pagkabanhaw nga siya nagauban kanato adlaw og gabi kalipay og kasakit may problema man kung wala diha sa atong kinabuhi to have Christ and to experience Christ is to always experience that inner joy that inner joy that inner courage to accept life and to go through life kaisok ug kadasi nga man knowing that you have Christ with you believing that Jesus is Emmanuel he is with me and this is the experience of the apostles after the Pentecost before the Pentecost they were all afraid to come out they live in fear they hide themselves but after the Pentecost with the grace of the Spirit they became bold proclaimers of Jesus Christ Muna nga si San Pedro nagsulti diya sa katauhan diya sa atong pagbasa sa buhat sa mga apostoles Dakingon siya God raised Jesus and of this we are all witnesses Wa siya magduha-duha wa na siya mahadlok pagproklamar sa tibuo katauhan na tinuod ang Diyos nagbanhaw sa atong ginoo o kami iyang mga saksi. There is no stopping of our proclamation. Why? Because we have seen and we have experienced the living Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, in our times now, sa ginaingon ko na sa pagsugod sa misa, Kumusta ang atong kasing-kasing? Kumusta ang atong pagtuo? Nagdilaab pa ba kini? Diya sa atong pagtuo sa presensya ni Kristo. Do we still recognize Jesus, the very presence of Jesus in the breaking of bread, particularly in the celebration of the Mass? Karon nalipay ko, nagipagsirhan ang daghan ng mga simbahan. Nga naman, because people were, are craving, Father, kanos ami makabalik pag simba. Father, kanos ami makabalik pag kalawat. Gimingaw nami sa simbahan. Gimingaw nami ng mudawat sa ginoo. Wow, kaanindot. Pero kanian to, a lot of us would just go to the Mass and just take for granted of the very presence of Jesus. We don't even had time to go to the church on Sundays. But now, we have this hunger within us. Sana, sana all, magpadayon ini, even after this pandemic crisis. Ang atong kauhaw, kagutong sa tinuod na presensya ni Kristo diha sa Santos na Misa. But my dear brothers and sisters, we don't just experience Jesus in the celebration of the Eucharist. We also experience Jesus as we read the Scriptures. Because the very Word, the Scriptures is the very Word of God. We experience warmth of faith when we take seriously His Word, read His Word, reflect on them, and live on them. Dili lang sa Nisa nato, maeksperensyahan ang buhi ng Kristo. He is truly alive in His very Word. Kung karoon na dili tayo magagawas-gawas sa itong panimalay, find time to read and reflect the scriptures so that your faith would once again be rekindled magmainiton ang atong pagtuo but again my dear brothers and sisters dili lang kay ego nga makit-an nato maeksperyensyahan nato si Kristo sa misa 
o diha sa atong pagbasa. You remember the ingon ang atong ginoo? When two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in your midst. Two or three are gathered in your name, in my name. So diha sa atong panimalay, karon nga naatan na Quarantino, kung kanunay mong nagampo, feel and experience the warmth of the love of the resurrected Lord within your family. This is one great opportunity to experience Jesus once again in our faith. Kasi karan mag-apo ta, canned prayers. Mura lang tag-pikoy nga nag-yaw-yaw kanunay. Without, again, sometimes we pray devoid of meaning. Sabat-sabat lang ta. Maybe this is now the right time when you come together as a family. Experience that presence of Jesus. But what more? We can also experience Jesus in the brokenness, no? in the brokenness of our lives. We experience Jesus. Sometimes our brokenness could lead us towards abandoning our faith. But there is also another way that our brokenness also could strengthen more our faith in Jesus when we do not abandon our faith in Him. When we hold on to Him, the more that we are being strengthened. Okay? So ayaw kahadlok sa problema. Ayaw kahadlok sa kalisdanan sa kinabuhi. Because in our brokenness, we find Jesus also as our strength. My dear brothers and sisters, Kumusta ang inyong kasing-kasing? Kumusta ang atong pagtuo? Padayon pa ba kining nagdilaab? Manindog, palihog. Let us now together profess the creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and He seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The wisdom of the scriptures reveals God's plan for us. As we journey with Christ, let us pray that his path of life may become clearer each day. For every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the pastors of the Catholic Church, especially Pope Francis and Bishop Paul, that they may continue to nourish us with God's word from the scripture, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations of our world, that the good news of Christ, the risen Lord, may bring social justice to all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in the darkness of error and despair, that the scriptures may be explained to them as light and truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the congregation God has gathered at this altar, that each one of us may recognize the real presence of the risen Lord in the Eucharist. Breaking of bread, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead, that they may rise to the fullness of joy in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
God, our Father, our hearts burn within us as we listen to your only begotten Son. Accept the prayers of pilgrims on this path of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb who once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should answer under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
communion at Ifon, the disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Some announcements. Seated. Mga pahibalo, base sa resulta sa meeting sa mga kaparian sa ormo o sa representante ni Mayor Richard Gomez, maukin ni ang ikasabutan mahitungon sa pagsaulog sa fiesta sa mga porok o barangay. Una, ang misa lamang sa kapilya pahinungod sa fiesta sa patron ang may pagtugot sa atong mayor. Ubus ni ining mga kondisyon nga gikasabutan usab tali sa atong arsobispo sa palo o sa LGU or mong. Una, walay mutambong ng mga katauhan sa pagahimoo na misa kundili lima lamang katawo nga nagrepresentar sa porok or barangay. Mugamit og trumpa aron daghan makadumog sa misa. Ang katauhan magtigom lamang sa ilang mga balay at tubangan sa altar. Walay prosesyon sa santos nga pagahimuon. Walay gunya, house blessing o renovasyon nga pagahimuon ato sa piyesta. Katapusan sa misa, ang pari mulibot na mag-inusara sa purok o barangay. Dala ang Santisimo aron pagbindisyon sa katawhan. Magbutang lang o altar o dinagkutang kandila sa gawas sa balay. Ikaduhang pahibalo, mahitungon sa paglubog. Walay misa paghimoon sa panimalay. Kung magpamisa, adto kinihimoon sa cemetery or sa OMG or Mock Memorial Garden. Ang immediate family lamang ang makauban sa lubog o makatambong sa misa basta dili mo sobra sa 15 katao base sa protocol sa LGU. Iparehistro ang inyong minatay sa city RHU para makakuha sa permit pag lubog. Magpalista usab sa opisina sa parokya Kung magpalubong, labi na kung anha sa Catholic Cemetery ang lubong o kung magpamisa usab. Ikatulong pahibalo, mahitungod sa atong mga misa sa Domingo. Among gikasubo, pagpahibalo, padayon itang gipahinom duman sa pagtambong sa misa, diha lamang sa atong tagsa-tagsa kapanimalay, Pinaagi sa live streaming, radio broadcast o sa Sunday Masses sa mga television, television channels. Atong likayan ang pagawas sa atong mga panimalay aron malikyan usab nato ang posibleng pagkalat sa coronavirus. Among gihangyo ang inyong laong na pagsabot. Magsinabtanay ta, magtinabangay ta, maginampu ay ta. Ikaw pat o katapusan. Among pasalamat, pinaagi sa among barangay chairman, Jose Maria Miguel Aviles, sa hatag na bugas, ingon man usab kang Mayor Richard Gomez, sa additional na bugas o kang Congresswoman Lucy Torres Gomez, sa gipaabot na tabang. Daghang salamat.
final blessing, I would like to thank once again kaninyong tanan na padayon nga nagsunod sa atong mga misa via live streaming sa atong Facebook page o sa atong radio station DYAJ FM. Salamat sa inyong pagsunod. And do not forget to like our page. Aron padayon usab na makihibalo ka mo on sa mga announcements o mga buluhaton didi sa atong parokya. Kaninyong tanan, daghang salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Mayong gabi ka rin yung tanan. Thank you.